Hi guys and welcome back to the I Have a Lifestyle YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about climate change as this is something we need to work collectively to fix soon as possible for the sake of our future generation's quality of life. In the next few decades, humanity needs to come together to achieve a sustainable existence on Earth. Climate change is a long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. People should care about climate change. As science suggests, it is causing severe and unnatural weather patterns on our planet. Many countries are suffering from a vast increase in rate of storms than ever before. On the other hand, other countries are experiencing extreme droughts, affecting the survival of all forms of life, including plants, animals, and humans. It is predicted that by 2050, climate change will cause 9 billion people to be living on planet Earth, where we'll be fighting over resources for our own survival. And as our population booms, so will our demands. This clearly isn't sustainable, so we will need a better plan to distribute these resources fairly and to make things that we all depend on sustainable in the long run. If we do not act soon, our planet will face serious consequences due to our poorly thought out actions. Some of these effects will include our population increasing, carbon dioxide levels increasing in the atmosphere, the temperature of the sea rises, and our wildlife will eventually die out. Sir David Attenborough, a famous broadcaster and natural historian, claimed in a BBC interview this. Um, well, we can look to the younger generation who are actually going to do it because they will actually be able to see the consequences of what they do. Um, and uh, my lot are dying off. The one, we are the ones that cause the problem. Um, and uh, but if you can re uh, live in a more modest economic way uh, as an ambition, don't waste things. Think this world is precious. Think your time is precious. Uh, think that the rest of the natural world is precious and all those things need cherishing. That's the fundamental attitude. The world is not uh, a bowl of fruit from which we are decide can just take what we wish. We are part of it, and if we destroy it, we destroy ourselves. In the same interview, Sir David Attenborough said that there was one thing that we could all do to help climate change, and it would be... Stop waste. Stop waste of any kind. Stop wasting power. Stop wasting food. Stop wasting plastic. Don't waste. This is a precious world. Celebrate and cherish. What happened in the world? This planet is ours. There is just one problem. We are sort of out of touch with nature, and if we do not get back in touch with nature, this age of humans will be short-lived. When you investigate why this problem is occurring, one massive conclusion is that it's because the planet is becoming less wild. Our species have cut down over 3 trillion trees, most fishes in the oceans are being captured by fishermen, and over the past 50 years the population of animals has decreased by 60%. A less wild world is less able to provide for our needs, less able to maintain dependable weather and seasons, and less able to absorb our impact. Everybody knows 2020 was an extreme year for all, and during this year, there was an extreme noticeable change in our climate, as it went from severe storms across the country causing a lot of damage in February, to a summer heat wave where the weather at one point reached 34 degrees Celsius for six consecutive days, to then immense amounts of rainfall throughout October, where one of these days was recorded as the UK's wettest day ever on record. All of this information is recorded in an annual report, and it shows that the UK is getting wetter, warmer, and sunnier. The report compared the most recent three decades with the 30 years before and found that on average the UK was 0.9 degrees hotter. For rainfall, the country was an average of 6% wetter. And 2020 was the eighth sunniest year recorded in the last 100 years. Signal from world leaders, from people like you, that we're going to solve this, it is now. In 2020, we have a key moment in history. Some have called it a super year, a coming together of major global decisions on climate, nature, oceans and development. It could not be more important and far-reaching. What we do in the next few years will determine the next few thousand years. Thank you for your leadership so far and I wish you every success in inspiring other world leaders to join you in this vital task.
The plan for our planet is remarkably simple. Reduce our impact by making sure that everything we do, we can do forever. For the biggest gains, we could concentrate our efforts on four goals. Phasing out fossil fuels and replacing them with renewables. This will not only slow the warming of the planet and the acidification of the ocean, but it will lead to clean air for all of us. Upgrading to efficient food production and reducing our consumption of meat will require far less space to provide for ourselves, leaving more for grasslands, reducing deforestation and our demand for fresh water, and feeding more people with healthier, more affordable food. Working together to properly manage our ocean. A global network of no fish zones and a treaty on the use of international waters would restore the health of the ocean so it actually produces more fish for us all to eat. Working hard to keep hold of the wild populations we still have, encouraging nature wherever we can. In the ocean, on land we no longer need, and even in our cities. If we make these changes, we will be on route to becoming in touch with our nature once again. We will need to come together as one big community and stop wastage and make the planet more sustainable. Some examples are use wind energy as it is cost effective. It is also a clean source and sustainable. Also, we need to go electric faster as pollution levels will decrease as well as fuels and emissions. This needs to be done for the better of everyone's health and well-being in the long run. We'll all need to do our part as climate change affects all of us. When we successfully do this, we will then be proud of ourselves and be able to call it our planet. Please comment down below what you are going to do to help the climate. Also, please share this video with as many people as possible as this is a very important matter, as well as liking and subscribing. And we'll see you next week.